go to find out, uh, and I can't remember the individual's name, but I was wrestling, let's call her Sarah, was the first match. So not, not only was my first match, you know, with little training in wow. front of my entire high school, it was- But with, it was with a girl. It was, it was with a female. So my first wrestling match, I was a freshman in high school. Um, first year wrestling, um, we had just finished football. So there was, there was, I had a shorter time period to prepare. I think it was like probably three weeks of wrestling practices, yeah. maybe two and a half before the first tournament. I'm nervous, you know, I'm, it's, it's high school, so I'm a freshman, so everything's yeah. new. I gotta wear this singlet, you know, Yeah, that's weird. And then our first tournament is at home and it's in front of the school in the high school gymnasium. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, you know, some pressure. And I'm at one of the lower weight classes, but not the lowest. So typically they start at the lowest weight class. They would start at what was 103 pounds and they'd move up to heavyweight. I was at, a, I think 119 pounds I was wrestling at. And I was like, okay, there, there should be some people before me. But, well, there wasn't on the competitor side. <laughs> so I'm the first one out there. So I'm just, I mean, butterflies are going through me. I'm freaking out. I'm like, Okay, but I'm in really good shape. I'm in really good shape, but I know nothing about wrestling. Like I'm, the, the warm ups, I couldn't do a cartwheel. Like they, they were looking at me like I was just the most uncoordinated, which I was, person. Um, well, go to find out, uh, and I can't remember the individual's name, but I was wrestling. Let's call her Sarah. Was the first match. So not not only was my first match, you know, with little training in front wow. of my entire high school. It was. But it was with, with the girl. It was it was with a female, which. Heck, you know, I hope my daughter does wrestling. I get it. Um, I get it. But man, that was a that was a, a tough moment. So the first <laughs> round just flew by. I, I don't know what happened. I, she might have been leading at points. I have no idea. Yeah. And then the second round, I said, Colin, you're in front of the school. You need to figure this out. So I remember I just wait. You were it. you were in front of like, yeah, people. the school like people in the bleachers and people in the bleachers not just some like, parents and some uh, wow. other athletes no this was like That's, school there was hundreds and hundreds of people there i'm getting secondhand embarrassment right oh now. man <laughs> and i'm sitting there you know ninth ninth grade you know pale white with these uh <laughs> nice little leotard singlet yeah. running around um but I, I did end up winning that match you know oh I, okay yeah uh, I knew no moves, but I held down both shoulders and yeah. pushed really hard yeah. and heard that mat and said, oh my God, I'm so glad that's over. Yeah. I shook her hand. I said, thank you. Sorry. And I just tried to get thank out you, of it. Sorry. <laughs> I did not know how to react to that. Um, yeah, that year, I think I wrestled three gals. Um, and those were my only wins up until the last tournament of the season, which was, uh, yeah. it was funny. So yeah, talk, talking about, um, you know, just, just wrestling and everything and having my son do it. I think it just prepares you for things as an, as an individual sport mm -hmm. that team sports can't prepare you for. Team sports are great because obviously you're getting teamwork, you're doing something right. athletic, um, but they're fun. There's all sorts of different attributes to it, but you, it is almost impossible to recreate the feeling of wrestling against a female male. It doesn't matter. Um, but wrestling against somebody or being pushed to your maximum and having to be optimal in front of an entire crowd of hundreds and hundreds of people where it's not, it's not your coach's fault. It's not your team member's fault. It's only your fault if you mm. don't perform well, whether yeah. you're working hard, et cetera. So that's why I think, you know, I'm trying to have my son do it. You know, he's enjoying these tournaments as I, as I, as I was saying, wrestling practice is never fun and never yeah. will be. But if you have three hours of wrestling practice a week, the other 165 hours should be great because you're getting stronger, you're getting mentally tougher, and it makes you cognizant of that donut that you're going to have because it's going to slow down your energy. It's going to change your weight if you get a poor night's sleep. Right. Um, if your attitude's not there, if you have a bad attitude, if you get tired, um, yeah. those things are going to show up uh, or a direct reflection on the on the mat, and that really goes for business. Like. You can you can kind of squeak your way through a couple things and right. have some successes because maybe you're going against you know competitors that aren't that competitive or you know our last like sequence of events for everything prior to the past six months when real estate was really easy yeah like lots of people were making money without all the skills now it's a lot harder and that that's what it comes down to and it's really honing those skills so yeah, I just I don't know, thought it interesting yeah, story oh no, yeah that is really interesting.